Keen Castle, nice windmill, but don't plan to go visit them. They're models photographed on the stages of Introvision in Hollywood where much of Army of Darkness was assembled. Using a special photographic process, real actors interact with unreal estate. When you come onto the stage, you look and the stage is bare. But when you look through the eyepiece of the camera, the entire set is there. And when you cue your actor, he walks in and through the eyepiece of the camera, He's inside that setting that you've created with Introvision. Shots in Darkman and Stand By Me were created by Introvision, but Army of Darkness is a landmark for the process. Nearly two-thirds of the film uses Introvision shots of one kind or another. Using the Introvision process, we're able to take uh, photography plates of a miniature or um, stills of a miniature and project them behind the actors and in that way create the illusion that they're in front of this castle without having to pay for the large-scale construction of it. And Introvision lends itself to the use of stop motion and so-called go motion animation sequences. Speed! It's something that the film star, Bruce Campbell, had to get used to, along with his makeup in certain sequences. Usually, as a phony baloney actor, I've got to act opposite someone who's not there anyway in a special sex movie. And in this case, nothing's there. I'm assured that behind me, it looks fantastic. How do they do that? That's part of our technology, and it's, uh, it's a rather long-winded explanation. But suffice it to say, they do it very well. Army of Darkness has hoped to bring the introvision process to the attention of more of Hollywood. It's a special effect process that actually lowers the cost of making a film rather than raising it. Dennis Michael, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood.